a few months ago, we first arrived in Bali. We've made it to Bali. We've got a driver to take us to Ubud. This was our first destination in Southeast Asia, and we were super excited to experience a new country. Up to this point, we had visited countries that felt somewhat familiar to our lives back in the U.S., but little did we know how different life would be here in Bali. Our two month stay here in Bali was truly magical and we will forever cherish these memories. We're here in Bali. We made it, we've uh, taken a couple of days to get settled in, still adjusting to the time difference. But guys, where we're staying, we're right in the jungle. It's pretty amazing. We're heading into Ubud, grab a bite to eat, and we're gonna check the city out. Let's go. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's go. Hello. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go get mommy and sissy. Right now we're heading to a restaurant called Warungs or something like that. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. These little local cafes, little local restaurants that aren't super touristy and aren't super expensive. And there's many of them right next to us. So we're gonna hit up every single one of them while we're here. The weather so far has been pleasant. Uh, today it's a little warmer than it has been for the last couple of days. This is our second full day here. When we first got here it was nighttime and the time difference we just had to get adjusted to i think we're almost there this morning we woke up a little later around 10 which is six for our normal schedule but we're getting there we're adjusting there's lots of stray dogs running around they've been friendly for the most part some of them bark but no incidents sawyer wants to tell you guys something I really like all the puppies in the city. <laughs> you like all and the doggies? And every city. You like all the doggies? Look, there's a couple doggies over there. Oh, this one? You want to take this one out? Happy Varung. Kelabang Maudin. It's still morning for us, although it's noon here. Let's see what kind of food they got. Interesting, huh? Interesting how it tastes, Bubby. You like it or no? Can you no. try this interesting no. tea? Look. It's very interesting. You can, like start with one flavor. You don't like it? Wait, I do like it. You do like it? It tastes is like Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it, there's like a chip flavor there at the end. <laughs> Here, try the one with lemon. It's a little bit more sour. Sour? Where's the lemon? Where? It's in the top there. I like it. You like the lemon one better? This one's mine. All right, thank you so much. You like it? Lemony noodles. How is it? You don't like it? Yeah. Chew it up, see if you release let's the flavor. Try. Let's try. For real, let's try for real. Good job. Look at those muscles. Oh my gosh, he's becoming a superhero. Alright, we found something that it looks like the kids like. We'll see if they, they eat it all. I'm gonna dig into my red chicken curry. Nicole's got her big plate of fried rice. The silverware here is packed in like these bamboo leaves or banana leaves or something. That's pretty cool. Not 100% sure what it is, but nice touch. Try it out. Mm, the curry is delicious. It's crunchy. 
The rice is perfect. So good. Amazing. <laughs> so many flavors. And the egg is like the perfect touch to balance the flavors. And it's a tiny bit spicy. It has a little kick to it. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Come here. Let's walk away from here. But the dog is fine. That's just the puppy doggy from yesterday. It's okay. The dogs are usually friendly. The ones back here are barking, but usually they're friendly. We're gonna head into Ubud now, into the city center. We drove through there the other night on our way here. It was booming. Lots of restaurants and lots of shops. A lot of people walking around. We're gonna go check it out. This place is awesome. So nice up here. So green, so lush. I love Bali. We're about two miles from the city center, which isn't too bad, but I think we're gonna grab a car. They have a app here like Uber, Goyak. Daddy, should we? We use Bolt this? in Europe, and they Daddy, Goyak should we, here. Should we please run down this? Right. It's quite the hill, huh, guys? <laughs> I need some help over here, Daddy. Need some help? <laughs> All right, let's go. We're almost there. There's a big hill here at the end of the road. But this is the main street, so we're gonna get a car now. <laughs> oh, do you go okay, baby? It's a ram rambunctious little girl. <laughs> She's glad to see you guys. She likes you. She likes you. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I like your shirt. She doesn't talk in here. No. Oh, one month. Oh, wow, one yeah. month. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. She's got a baby, she a little baby little at home. Baby. Where? Emma. My home. At her home. Emma. You want to see? Uh, yeah. Emma. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Is it a boy or a girl? A boy. boy. Yeah, a three boy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Say hi. Hello. 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 Sammy, look what's she carrying on her head. How could she? Are you? Say hi. Say nice to meet you. Yeah. Can you tell her hi? I think she just wants to touch you. Say da da. Bye bye da da. Uh, so the car hasn't come yet. We've been waiting like 15 minutes. The car hasn't moved much, so we're gonna start walking towards it. Not sure if it's traffic or what, but Cole reached out and tried to message them, but haven't heard back. <laughs> the other car wasn't coming any closer to us, so we canceled that one and we're trying to get a new one. Should be here in a few minutes. Three minutes. It's hot. It's gonna so we found some shade. Three minutes? Three minutes? Okay. That's what mommy said. Yeah, hopefully it'll get here. Mm -hmm. First experience with this app was not good. It's quite different than what we're used to. It took about 30 minutes to get a ride. Probably could have walked to town by then. But he's finally here. Good, thank you. Hello. 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 It's a tight squeeze yeah. <laughs> for pretty much all the streets. 
These are made for, for motorbikes, it seems, yeah. for the most part. <laughs> it's pretty cool driving in the car you get to see a lot more obviously so we've got to see some cool temples everyone's yard here is like a rice paddy it's like a rice field i'm curious if they harvest that for their own use or if they sell it the streets are so tight here Thank you. Come on, buddy. Bye. Well, it can also drive by itself. Yeah. Fucking yo. 150, sometimes 500. No money, baby like. Oh, blah. Yeah. Hold it, see if you like it. Yeah, looking all oh, baby like. 500? Yeah. 500. No, no. Yeah, okay, 100, 100. No, 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 Bubblegum too, bud? Alright, enjoy! We're walking down to the monkey forest. We're not going to go into the monkey forest because Nicole's sister was here a few months ago and said that it's not really worth going into it. But if you go over by where the parking lot is, sometimes you can still see monkeys. So we're going to go see if we can see any and check it out. There's like little monkey statues all over the place. Sammy, you're gonna see some monkeys? Super careful, we won't let them grab the camera. If they do, I'll and trade them for you. If they jump on you, do not freak out. Alright, keep your eyes open for monkeys. No dogs allowed. Anybody have dogs? Woof, woof. Let's go see if we can see any monkeys. Look at all the fish. My camera. Where? 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 All right, we saw one, but he's pretty far away. I'm gonna go see if there's another one. Ah. All right, go get some cool pictures, guys. I took a video of a 
So we can't stick, um, stare at them or they will think you're trying to steal stuff so that they will come steal something from you. Yeah. <laughs> so right now we're looking at some fishies and there's a big tiger over there. Big tiger? It's just a statue tiger. Oh, I see. And... and Do you like Bali? Bali? That's where we're at. Do you like yes. Bali so far? Yeah. Yeah? All right, go left here. The monkey jungle was pretty cool. We only stayed for a few minutes, but we did get to see some monkeys. Were the monkeys cool? You like those? We're gonna go walk around Ubud a little bit more and explore. Oh, sorry, baby, watch your step. It's, uh, it's very busy here. There's lots of people, lots of motorbikes, lots of tourists. Or maybe I should say expats, because maybe they're not tourists. Maybe they live here. <laughs> Kiddos wore out, so uh, we've opted for a taxi. <laughs> we had about like a mile to get to the supermarket, which is where we need to go pick up a few things to stock up. Super, super. So I can wait till you take you back to hotel. Is he or not taxi? All right, made it to Bing Tang supermarket. Our taxi driver is gonna wait for us. He's gonna take us back home. For a hundred thousand, we won't have to wait around, so I guess that's worth it. Let's go get some stuff from the supermarket. Give me in there, Daddy. In here? Come here. Can we go pay now? My man says you have. The Wood Palace. Thank you so much. What's your puppy? It's just Mongols. Mango's doggy? Yes, Mongols. Mongols doggy. It's it's nice. It can't it won't jump on us. He's a nice puppy? Yes, Mongols and Mongols pup is a nice puppy. Sook Sama. Sook Sama. Thank you. Hi. And she wrote four mm -hmm. Mongols. Good. 
And this one? It's a sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is Weedy. Weedy? Yes. Oh, Weedy's house. Weedy's house. <laughs> <laughs> your house. <laughs> <laughs> a fun day exploring. We're just getting started. This is our first full day out exploring Bali. Ubud, I should say. Our host and his family were here when we got home. So they greeted us, got to meet the rest of his family. Super sweet family. The sun's setting over the hill. We're gonna go in, get some dinner, and call it a night. We're gonna be exploring Bali for the next two months. We got all kinds of cool things planned to do with the kids, and it's gonna be the adventure of a lifetime. This is our new home. We're staying in an Airbnb rental near the city of Ubud. Join us for a tour of this traditional Balinese home. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of where we're staying here in Bali. At least the first place we're staying will be in three different places in total. Uh, we're about 25 minutes outside of Ubud, here in the hills and the jungle. We've rented this place on Airbnb. Uh, we're here for a little over two weeks and it costs a little over $500. It's its own standalone private house. From the street, it's very inconspicuous. Behind front entrance is like this whole hidden oasis. There's three different houses here. I think they're all rented on Airbnb. We've got some neighbors up here at the top. They're here for several months um, from Australia. But back here is like a river, goes down into a gorge, and it's just surrounded by jungle. There's a little koi pond next to the stairs. Got the porch here that leads in to these very ornate door frame. And then over here you have the front porch with a view of the house below and the jungle. And then over here there's a new house being built. Probably 75% of the places that we've stayed on our trip so far, there's construction in the building or around where we're staying. So we're, we're quite used to this, although can be quite loud at times we've managed uh, ideally there's no construction going on and this would be a very serene and peaceful area but we, we have had to deal with construction each day here you got a table to sit at and paintings and then the windows open out to the patio from the inside so let's take a look at the inside got a kitchen table with four chairs these windows open up. Hey guys. Hi. It's kind of dark in here. There are lights, but they're not super bright. So it's not extremely bright in here overall. Off to the right is a first room with sliding glass doors. These doors close. That helps with sound a little bit during the evening. It's not super loud though. And then there is a, I believe this is not a desk. It's probably for makeup or something, but I've been using it for a desk for editing. Got the bed with the canopy. It's just for decoration. There's, it's not a mosquito net, which is what we thought it was at first. Uh, mosquitoes have not been bad here. Little bench at the edge of the bed. It does have an AC, which is nice. Two end tables with lamps, and then more windows for the natural light to come in. And then there's a wardrobe for our clothing. Nice little view to the side. Our first few nights here, there was a little critter up in the ceiling and we could hear it running around, scurrying around. And I think it caught something one night because it was just going crazy up there. Uh, we let the Airbnb host know, he put down a glue pad, caught it. Turns out it was a very large rat. <laughs> when he put the glue pad up there and I guess the rat got stuck on it, you could hear it like flopping, trying to get off the glue pad. It was very loud. It was that, We lost some sleep that night, but he got it out and we haven't heard it since. So it got it taken care of for us. So, suksama. We try to learn the basics of the language of where we're visiting, like thank you, uh, hello, things like that. Over here, there's a little cabinet for storage and obviously some drinking water. You do not want to drink the tap water here in Bali if you're not from Bali because you will get what they refer to as Bali belly, which I'm assuming is like extreme diarrhea <laughs> and painful cramps. Got a small fridge. Got a second bedroom. These are both king size beds. So that's nice. This one does not have an AC, but it has a fan. And over here, there's an adjustment for the speed. Another little cadenza there with a mirror and a second wardrobe. And then more windows.
two end tables here as well with lamps. Pretty much like the other room, just it has a fan and it's a little bit smaller. And then we have the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty basic. It just has a little shelf here and up there there's a storage cabinet. But all the dishes are kept over here on this little rack. There's a sink and then there's a stove top with a kettle for uh, boiling water. And that's what, how I've been drinking my coffee. I've had to get accustomed to instant coffee, which isn't my favorite, but I need the coffee, so nothing too fancy. Then we have the bathroom, which is actually an open air outdoor bathroom. It is covered here, but as you can see, part of it's open air with this nice lush rock wall. We have a Western toilet, which is nice. And then got a sink with a mirror and there's a stand up shower. And depending on the time of day that you take a shower, you're standing it right in the sunlight, which is interesting. Uh, and then there's a bathtub, which the kids have enjoyed. And then there's also a, a shower snake in the bathtub. The host has been great. They're very welcoming. He is a temple priest and his family all live here. He's got a, a few kids, I think two daughters, and one of them works at the resort down the street, which we're gonna go check out. We're heading to, I, th I think it's pronounced Jiniku or something like that. They allow you to just pay some money and you can spend the day there and that includes a meal. So we'll have some lunch as well. So we're gonna go check it out. Yes, Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Sure, wait a moment, our colleague will pick up, yeah? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's like a little hidden oasis here in the jungle. Oh wow. Oh, so we're gonna go down this like uh, the inclinator. That's what it's called, I guess. It's like a, like a big elevator. What do you think, guys? When are we gonna move? Here we go. It's very slow. Yeah, I know, so it doesn't fall. It's like an elevator. You're here? It feels like we're going down an elevator on top of a mountain, now we're going down. That's exactly so what we're doing. Right? There's another truck under there. Daddy, we're about to go under that little baby, baby bridge. You think so? Yeah, and then we're gonna stop right there. I don't know what we're gonna do there. We're gonna get out there. Yeah, but there's no way to stand. Where are we? And then we're gonna go over there. My name is Sammy. Sammy! Sammy! Yeah, nice to meet you! Thank you for coming. I knew it. Okay. Really, really knew it. Bye bye. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Sip some. Was that cool, bud? <laughs> so cool. Come on, mom. Yeah, we're gonna have, we always have to hold hands. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's why they oh, there's like a path down this way you can walk. I don't know what it leads to. Maybe down to the river. And we're from Florida. 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 Okay. <laughs> Hello. You wanna swim? Yes. First, but, but we're first gonna eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look! Look at this. There's the pool. Yeah. There it is. If we splash in there, guess what? It goes down the mountain. Pretty cool, huh? It's got the infinity pool overlooking the jungle. Got the resort up here on the hillside. 
Got the inclinator coming down. All right, we're gonna go have some fun. We're gonna eat first and then we're gonna go swim in the pool. Oh, thank you so much. How does the water feel, bud? Cool. Feels good? It's just like cold. It's just like cold? Yeah, you warm. It's warm up? Daddy, I'm working on it. Here we are. We've eaten lunch. I've got the floaties blown up for the kids. Now we're going to go swim in the pool. The water is a little cold, but it's like being in the bathtub after a while. All right, I'm ready when you're ready, bud. Oh. <laughs> Come. I'm ready. But we're not gonna do the jumping. No, just gonna come to me. What do you think, darling? It's beautiful. I'm so glad we came. That's our house over there. That's where we're staying. And then there's this hidden oasis. It's a few properties over. I wouldn't even know this place was here. Coming, buddy. No. Hey, Daddy. Stuff, right? It can, pretty hot. There's lots of little restaurants within walking distance. So we've pretty much hit up everyone around us. They're all delicious. We're going to a new one now. And on the way, I'm gonna show you guys the real Bali. Do not 
not look at the phone. Let's go look at the spider real quick. We're so close. Oh, there it is. There he is. Guys, look, the fly got stuck in the spider web. chicken I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but there was a mom riding her scooter and the baby was strapped to her chest and the baby's just passing out. Shake too, bud. One for are you gonna find one? When we get to the restaurant, let's see if they got milkshakes. So a few things. Lots of stray dogs. They're mostly friendly. Or they, maybe they're not strays. I don't know that maybe they have a, a home, but they, they wander around. Everyone is super friendly. Everyone says hello and they love the kids. It's amazing here for the kids. You, All right, you want to run down the hill? Yeah. All right, let's let them get my head start. All right, one, two, three, let's go. <laughs> All right. Hey, that was so much fun. There's some amazing resorts, and then there's just the the normal locals who live here. All intertwined, mixed in together. But it's still. No, for real, there's... In paradise. Oh, no. We're almost there, bud. We're almost there. All right, we've made it. Great exercise. Look. Oh, is that the water? Yeah, can I walk no, on No, please this? don't go down. That's got moss on it, no. so it's very slippery. Have we been to this restaurant? Nope, this before? is a new one. We haven't been to this one yet. Hello. Coffee. Well, I have to say this one's probably got the best view that we've I'm seen so far. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so to drink, I got a strawberry milkshake. Sawyer got a vanilla milkshake. Sammy got a real pineapple fruit juice. Nicole went for a Diet Coke. To eat, I got the Bebek Crispy, which is a crispy duck with some local vegetables and some sauce. Got a pizza for the kiddos, and Nicole got chicken with mushroom sauce. Pizza. I did it. This is one more banana. was pretty good Daddy. there wasn't much meat on my duck Can I? but I got full for Can now I? the kids did not like the pizza it wasn't like normal pizza so they didn't really eat much of that they uh they picked on Nicole's food so she didn't eat, get to eat a ton we're gonna head over to a market it's not open quite yet but it's gonna take us a while to walk there and so that, that. we'll show you guys more Bali hello <laughs> uh-huh what do they grow in those? Rice field. Yeah, good job. Rice field. More rice field. And another rice field. Hello. Look at all the ducks over there. Hello. <laughs> Hello, huh? Hello, Ducky. Come a little closer. Can you guys quack for them? Quack, 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 quack. Look, there's a big truck coming. Let's get out of the way. Probably not the safest we're out. There's no sidewalks here and the roads are very narrow. You gotta be safe. Oh, there's a bike. That rice looks like it's almost ready. Why? It's very dark green. It yeah, it's big and green, huh? Yeah, we're taking pizza for a second. I'm gonna put this in there. It's gonna go down there. Or down somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna go down that one. Not that one. See? Yep. Well, along most of the roads, there's these little drainage paths that are used to irrigate the rice fields. You can find them pretty much along every road, and it's awesome to see how it all works. Sorry, loves putting leaves and stuff in them. Hang on, buddy. Is that rice ready? No. Not yet, right? Is that rice over there ready? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's ready. Where teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. It was over there. It was that dog. Sammy, is this rice ready? What? Yeah. It's ready. We're playing a game. It's ready. What are you playing? Every scooter that drives this way, we say if they're going to the ceremony or not based on how they're dressed. Okay. Look, you see the water, how it's draining? Wait, Daddy, I know, how, I know these. Look. You take them off, and then you... Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. The mountain? 
do this whole rice field, then it's all the way over to... Yeah, it goes all the way Kelly. over. Well, look at the people over there. <laughs> hey, Daddy, guess what? What? Do you even know what this surprise is? I do not. It's going to be just epic. It's going to be epic? Yes, you're going to love it. Okay. Wow, look back there. We uh, stopped for a quick drink break. There's like an indoor soccer field here. It's got two fields. Pretty cool. Feels awesome in the shade. It's a little hot in the sun, but... Just walking through paradise. Watch where you're going, okay, buddy? Wow, look at this house. Hey sis. Woo! Hi dad. How you doing? Good. Woo! Woo! Is this rice ready? Yes. No. no. Hurry up! Woo! That was a close one dad. Is that rice over there ready? Yeah. No. Yes. It looks like it might be. Look, there was a landslide here. What's a landslide? See how all the, the hill fell? You see how it fell down? Yeah. That's a landslide. All right, come on, you guys are doing awesome. Hey, can you walk now? No. Oh, you still need me to carry you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Is that a swastika? I'm curious what the swastika symbol means here. It's not a dragon, it's a box. It's a robot. Hello. Hello. Yeah, they made their own little dragon. But usually there's a group of kids, probably like early teens early or late preteens usually they go around and they make the music and they're in a dragon costume they dance around and, they and i think these kiddos they're younger so they just made up their own that's awesome yeah and they go into different costumes like i we just saw um um a robot one. Oh look, oh. are those? They're not real ducks, oh, but look they look those like ducks. them. Look, you can maybe watch how they're doing. Look, they're making them. Wow. Hey, hey, look, there's a little chicken. A little chicken. Chicken, chicken, with the chicken. Hi. Chicken. Oh, there's another chicken. Oh, hi, Buck Buck Chicken. So you guys just saw that motor bike go up, go up the stairs into their home. Most of these places on these small streets, they have a little ramp for the scooters and stuff to get up into the yard. Hey bud, what do you think about these places? Good. Do you like them? Yes. You like these little statues? Yes, just don't look at them. Then they will stop barfing at us. Okay. Uh oh, I'm not sure if we go left or right up here. We're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to wait for mommy and sissy. I know which way to go. Left or right? This way first. Right? We first have to turn. Okay. Let's so go, go see if you're right. Three. Hang on, you said we gotta go right. Let's go right. See, I told you we had it to go right. I told you. Okay. You're always right? Yep. All right. Do you remember the movie? When, when, when the when the when the white bear said, "Come on, try it. It's better than honey." And he sticked it in his mouth, and he was like, "Just." And then he just grabbed it, and then. Oh. And he and then he said, well, "You're right. See, I'm always right." That way, yeah. Yeah. Daddy, then let's go. Let's scare them. All right, let's
let's go. started looking at Sammy, took her hands and like kissed her cheek and was looking at, and was talking in Balinese the whole time guess and she what? was like guess what? Guess acting what? like she was like this princess goddess or something. She is a princess. She looked for that like long stretch before the turn. She stood in the middle of the street and kept waiting for us to turn around and wait. Oh. And time. Uh, what do, do you have a little salt or no salt? He doesn't understand so, what you're saying, bitch. No salt? So, okay. Well, the kids didn't eat much of their pizza at the restaurant. And we're gonna we, eat some french fries! Yeah. We came across this little food stand on the side here. They're gonna eat some french fries. Watch your step. Remember, don't step on those, okay? What? The little offerings. Hi. Look, we're here. This is the market. Yes, Power Rangers. So we're going to see what else they have, and then if we can't find any other ones, we'll come back and get this one, okay? You like those? Yeah. All right. We buy those. $2 sunglasses? Yeah. So I don't know if this is the whole market that we were looking for, but there's like a little corner set up on the street. And they've got some goods here. I got this hat, 35K. It's, uh, it's a little over $2. Sammy needs new glasses. She got some. Those are two dollars. Looking for a hat for Sawyer now. I want. You like Paw Patrol. Iron Man. Spider Man. Look at this Spider Man. Spider Man. Look at this bud. Do you want Spider Man to try on? Which one do you want, buddy? I'm trying to look. Okay, you let us know. I want to. I want. I don't want to run. Do you like it? No, it's too big, huh? It's a little big. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a little big. Super cool. Yeah. You want it, bud? Here. Yeah, bud. I think that's good. It looks super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, one. I like it. All right. Sawyer got his hat. Sissy got her glasses. Daddy got a new hat. Mommy, what are you getting? Uh, I want to buy more paper for the kids to paint on in this little store. <laughs> okay. Daddy, are you guys ready? To, are you guys ready to walk home? Yeah, pick me up, Daddy. You want to walk home? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna drive. Let's go. Buy are we gonna drive? Daddy, can okay. You pick me up? I think we're gonna drive home. It's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty long walk all the way back home. <laughs> you okay? I hurt my head in there. Stay low. <laughs> you want to go down there? Of course I do. Of course you do? But how do we get down there? There's some stairs. We can walk down there. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Look at that big tree, guys. Whoa. That's the cutest tree I ever saw. 
All right, let's go down the steps. You go. far down there, huh, bud? Yeah, really far. Look over. Whoa. Let's keep going up. Let's go check it out. Let's see how high they are now. Yeah. Okay, let's go check the place. Jeez. Jeez. Again? 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 Temple. Oh. oh. See, sissy? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a temple. Mm -hmm. Took the kids to a little play place er earlier. Let them have some fun. It was an indoor play place. It's actually really cool. It was pretty big. And then we went and had a bite to eat. The food is just amazing. It's so yummy. We still got some in the backpack. And then Nicole, Nicole said, let's go walk guys. We're gonna go check out this bridge. Now we're walking through a jungle. I would call it a jungle. Alongside a river, there's a huge temple. Uh, it's about a 15 minute walk. I don't know how far it is, but it's very cool. And the kids are loving it. You guys having fun? It doesn't look like it, yet, like the pictures. <laughs> well, no, they, like they only show the best spots, they obviously. Some, so ducks could come to me. Oh, you want you want to call some ducks? Where'd that come from? <laughs> Did you hear him? Everyone, stay on this one because there's a bunch of people. <laughs> Uh, Tim, hey guys. What we found, Daddy. What are you guys saying? The volcano. The volcano. Where? Where? The volcano right there. Oh, I see it in yeah. the faint distance. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. Ooh. Wow. Number two. Forty-two. Here it is. The rain's a bomb, and they push it down the mud. It can't pants. It can break down the the floor, and then it can fall off like this. Is that scary, bud? Yes. Yeah, it looks like it happened on that yeah. side too. <sighs> big, big step. Yeah. Good job, buddy. <laughs> All right, push through. Come on. Come on. Big step. Big step. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Good job, buddy. Give him a high five. High five? There you go. Good job. High ten. High ten. High ten. <laughs> there you okay, go. Take care, guys. So Nicole found this place. It's about a 25 minute ride from where we're staying in Ubud. <laughs> the kids are gonna have a blast here. They've got an awesome indoor play zone and then they've got a restaurant and they've got little toys that you can ride around on and then they've got this pretty cool water park too. You got some cool socks? Yeah. All right, go have fun. <laughs> Go over there okay. and I'll see you. There you are. Hi. Hi. Go up there, see what all they got. Oh, there's a trampoline. Go have fun. So 
this place is called Guma Sari. For the playset, I think it's unlimited time. It was only five bucks for both the kids. And they got the little cars that you can drive around. Those are a dollar. And then they've got the splash park. I'm not sure how much that is, but we'll find out later once it warms up a little bit more. But this place is cool. This is the last slide, and so this is all of it. Come on, let's go. Turn them the whole thing. Let's go! Woo! That was delicious. Oh, right, we gotta go this way. Turn pretty dark, huh? Woo! This way, let's jump. The kids have had this entire place to themselves the whole time. You're stuck. Yeah, see you next time. Oh, is it done? Yeah, Try to make it go. Huh? I do. Oh, it won't go anymore. Mom, All right, see you later, Mom, alligator. Wee! Come back. Watch out, sir. What are you doing? Right. You gotta watch where you're going. Almost. You gotta stop. Have you had fun? Yeah, I'm still writing this thing. You like the playset or the elephant better? Was it all fun? Playset. Yeah. Both of it. All of it. All right. All right. Finish your ride, bud. Okay. Everyone, go eat some lunch. Come on, elephant. Bye. All right, the kiddos had fun at the play place. Now we're gonna head down the street just a little bit. There's a Walroom that Nicole found. It's highly rated. Yeah, we're gonna go to this one Mommy found. It's got 4.8 stars, 40 reviews on Google. So we're gonna go check that out. Get some lunch. And it's, uh, it's starting to heat up. So we'll see about going to the water park here a little later. What do you think, Sammy? Would you like to go to the water park afterwards? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Sis is, little, sis is a little frustrated. Let's go get some food in our bellies, yeah? What are you doing, sis? Didn't you have so much fun playing? Yeah. Can you tell me why you're sad then? Because Bubby won't let me have that sticker. He won't let you have a sticker? And I can't find anything. Well, let's go see if we can find something cool. You gotta keep your eyes open, though. Look at that dog. Look at the cows look, over there. Look over there. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. Oh, look, they're by the tree. Look over there. Yeah. I'm gonna go home, Mama. Okay. <laughs> Traveling with little kids is, is a fine balance between education and entertainment. And sometimes, we do our best to get them entertained. They have fun for a little while. And then it's right on to the next thing. So it's a challenge. But it keeps things interesting. Is this it? This isn't the one? All right, let's keep moving then. No, that's not it either. I did see a restaurant. All right, we're looking for a restaurant on the map. It says it's here, but this isn't the restaurant. No, that's a auto service. I don't know. Can't find it. We could try this one if you want. We're gonna 
head back to the play place. They have a restaurant behind it. We're gonna check it out. Huh. Sometimes Google Maps is inaccurate. Unfortunately, we can't find the place. What do you think about it, bud? Daddy. Yeah? Can I say something? Of course. I wanna, I wanna be home now. You wanna go home? Let's go get some food and then maybe we go to the water park. You wanna go to the water park or you wanna go home? Water park. Water park? Okay. So I can cool off. Cool off. Are you hot? Yeah. Speaking of balance. Sometimes the kids will like to go out and do things. Sometimes they just want to stay home and hang out and play, which I get. Sometimes I just want to stay home and hang out and relax. What are you doing? Breaking it. Destroying it? See? Come on, look, mommy and sissy are leaving us. Let's go catch up. Come on. Are you hungry? No. You're not hungry? Actually, I am. You are? Okay, cool. This is this the same one that we saw? Is this the one that we saw? Is it me? Eat? Oh, can we, is there any food? Can we buy food? Let's go get some food. Look at the sun spitting water out at us. Tired? Yeah. I did. Did it film it? Yeah. That boy. This is only ketchup, okay? What's only ketchup? This? Yes. We ordered a little bit of everything. We got some rice, noodles, sausage, fries, uh, iced cappuccino, and a bottle of coffee. Looks pretty good. We're gonna dig in. Uh, Mi goreng, the chicken, it's noodles. And then we have rice, which is nasi goreng. It's all very good. Got some sausage. The sausage, it's like a hot dog. It's interesting, but it's not. A, it has an interesting taste. It's pretty good. And then we got this. A sausage skewer and all of this was 126,000 rupee which is about eight dollars for our lunch so the Bali coffee is interesting I've had it a couple times I think it's mainly made through a French press but the grinds of the coffee are in the cup so it's you can see there's some grinds there and once you get down to the bottom you can see all the grinds there so the last couple of drinks are, are interesting, but it is pretty good. I just don't drink the last couple of drinks. Mm -hmm. We've had this entire place to ourselves since we've been here. It is a Monday and we've been here since about noon. There's no one at the play place. There's no one at the water park. There's no one at the restaurant. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming this place is much busier either during the evenings after school or on the weekends uh, when the kids aren't in school. It's, it's huge though. There's got, they've got this little splash park here and then there's some water slides back there. There's some larger water slides over there. And then back behind there, I'll show you guys. There's a huge Olympic swimming pool with like a basketball court that you can play in the pool. They've got uh, rope swings that you can go out. They've got a large field for like events it looks like. Very nice place for families. The lunch was good. Finished pretty much all the food. The Unfortunately, the swings aren't open. Otherwise, Nicole and I were gonna go do that. Uh, but they're not operational today. But the water park is. So we're gonna go get changed, hang out in the pool. Maybe go down some water slides. It's about $10 for all of us to get access to the water. We have a slight dilemma though. We didn't bring any towels. And unfortunately, they don't provide towels. So I guess we're gonna have to drip dry or sun dry. Once we're out. Are you ready to go have some fun? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Cool. Go, 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 go. Yeah. We did our safety inspection. 
uh, the inside of the pole is very slippery and half of the slides are out of order or at least they should be <laughs> this one's kind of broken doesn't work very well so we're not gonna let the kids go on that one and the stairs the stairs are pretty bad shape this railing's loose uh, the stairs kind of feel like they're about to fall through when you step on them but I think that's just how they are and then this stair this slide we're not gonna let them go on that one but this one they can go on and this one they can go on so they'll have fun on two slides at least which one you want to go down Bubby did it you, you can do it Yeah, some of it's operational. There's two big slides over here, or actually three it looks like. Three slides over there. I think the kids are too small for those, so I might go check those out in a little bit. And then there's two huge slides. There's this big one, and then there's another one that goes down this way. They, they, uh, they let out into the Olympic pool. I'll show that to you guys in just a little bit. But we're gonna have some fun. All right, guys? Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm going to go down the green slide. The kids have both gone down this one. <laughs> oh, you guys want to go in the bucket? No! Come! Come on! <laughs> the kids won't come with me on the bucket. <laughs> this place is definitely uh it's fun but it's uh it's a little different as far as like the upkeep and the maintenance goes here i'll, I'll show you guys the swings so they get a seating area out here there's the big slide that would be cool to go down but unfortunately it's not working maybe later we'll see they got three huge rope swings. We were gonna go on those, but they're also not working. Hey, lots of little uh, gazebo setups. These swings look like they would be pretty cool, but Maybe the, maybe the thrower's not at work today. <clears throat> and then, hold on, I'll show you the pool over here. Ooh, it's slippery. That fell. There's this big slide. more seating a little field here oh I hear people coughing maybe this is open oh there are some people over here but yeah these slides don't look like they're working <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm sure this place is packed in the summer. Hey, do you guys want me to go on the big slides? Yeah! All right. Let me go check them out. What, baby? What's up? You don't want me to go? I'll check it out. Maybe it's safe enough for you guys to go on. Come on, bud. Get that out of the way. All right. So there's a double slide here. Then there's two more over there. Oh, that one's blocked off. So just these two slip. This one's blocked off. That's this one here. But this one's open. And this one's open. You guys ready? 
Hey, give me a countdown. Yeah. Oh, that that was a little <laughs> kind of hurt. <laughs> oh. Uh. Come get me, baby girl. Oh. Hey, baby. Hey, Bubba. Help me, Bubba. All right. Got a little break. I'm gonna go down this middle slide. It looks a little slower, a little less bumpy. And I'll uh, I'll protect myself this time on impact. All right, let's check this one out. Goes down, does the loop, goes into the pool. All right, you ready guys? Here we go. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. That one was fun. <laughs> Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, we're not the only ones here now. There's, there's some more guests that came. Hi, Daddy. Hey, baby. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah. fun. Cool. Look, he's got a tiger head oh, like and a mermaid body. This place is cool. If you're near Ubud as a family, you got young kids, you're looking for something fun to do, I recommend this place. It's a little uh, swim at your own risk, <laughs> but it's been fun so far. Oh yeah, a ladder. All right, let's go have some more fun, guys. Hey, Sora, where's that behind you, bud? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> he got a cool frog here. I mean, he squirts water too, but he's not working. So we're gonna hang out here for the rest of the afternoon, then we're gonna head back to the Airbnb. Like I said earlier, it's about a 25 minute drive. We just hire a car through uh, Gojek. I love spending so much time with the kids and Nicole. It's uh, it's been a blast. Just gonna keep enjoying every moment of it. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Good job, buddy. We're here at the Bali Zoo today, and the very first thing that we get to do is we're gonna feed some deer. The deer are just loose here in the park. So there's other animals that you can feed, but we're gonna go feed the deer. Come on, look at this. Come on, Daddy. They're look, running. It's okay, they're just gonna, they just want the food. How about I just put that like down? <laughs> just put it down. Go feed them, baby. Take them apart. Take the leaves apart. Look at these little guys. <laughs> you want to pet him, bud? You want to pet this one? Oh, he's biting the other one. There you go, that's it. <laughs> I love deers. I've been waiting forever to pet a real deer. I know. Is that fun, bud? Yeah. Alright, they don't like the carrots, but they like the grass or whatever this is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I want a carrot. Will we eat it? Interesting. He's 
Down at you. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a bird like that. Me either. He's beautiful. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this one. He's a cool, dude. Dad, look behind you. Whoa. Those are cool. Oh. Gosh, they're so cool. They can kiss each other. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Aw, they're mates. Can we pet them? <laughs> no, no, okay. He, when he, he's showing you that he doesn't want it right now. But, okay. Maybe the red one. The red one. <laughs> you can touch that. Never seen a bird like that before. It's pretty cool. I like his hair, his little hairdo. I want you the other one. I want to get a picture of them. They're just too not. They're not being steal from me. Take a video. It's so Take a video. No, I really want to take a picture. Do you know what those are? Those are otters. Otters. Swimming otters. Yeah, that's what they do. Hi, right, Bye. Hmm. Oh, they're no. Oh, oh you okay, Bobby? Okay. He's so playful. He keeps jumping in. Those are cool, huh? Oh yeah, I got a good shot, guys! <laughs> there you go. Look at that good one. Job, it's sis. rubbing all over that rock. The kids are somewhat excited about the zoo today for the animals, but what they're mainly excited about is we told them that there's a splash park here, and that is the Jungle Splash. So we're sprinkling a little bit on our way here, and we didn't know if the weather was going to turn out very well. It's a little cloudy, but we're gonna go around the uh, whole zoo first before we go to the splash park. There's only like one kid in there for now, but it looks pretty cool. That's what they're most excited about. But like I said, I don't know if the weather's gonna hold out or not. We'll see, we'll probably, oh, we'll probably uh, tour the zoo for about an hour or so. Are you excited for the splash park, bud? We don't know. Yeah, let's go to it. Let's go play the fire animals. Oh, what is that? Is it a crocodile or an alligator? Are they real? Yes. Yeah. Which one is it? Do you know? Does he have a long, thin snout? Crocodile! Yep. That's the crocodile. Okay, excuse me. I definitely gotta get a picture of that one. please stop filming for a second? I gotta get a picture of that one. Oh, there's a, there's a turtle in there too, right there, sis. Right there, that big turtle. Aww. Oh look, he's got his mouth open. Yeah. And his eyes closed. Oh, the crocodile! Oh, oh, thank you! Oh, oh, the... no. <laughs> oh look, I can see I can see the other one down there in the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's two, there's three crocs! Did you know that? There were two over there laying down on each other. Alright, maybe they are excited for the animals. They seem pretty uh they seem pretty excited. That face is huge. So you got the horns. Want to go up? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna go ahead to see the elephants, the orangutans, some other animals. I think there's a little bus tour. This is cool. Top of a bus. I know. This is our first time. Yeah. Probably gonna have one. You guys ready?
the elephants. Awesome. He had the tiger up on the uh, the walkway there. Supposedly you can feed him, but we didn't buy tickets earlier. Maybe we can still get some. Thank you. Yo, we want to feed it. We'll let him feed us. We're, doing we're not going to feed it, feed you to him. They have food to feed him. Oh look. Where do we go? What? Look, you put the meat on the stick and then you hold it up there. Hey guys, come on. Yum yum. How many tigers are there? We have one, but Just the one? white color. Oh wow. Come on, Dewi. Dewi. Yes, who is first? You hold the stick. Wow. Bobby first. Bobby it's tiger. okay. Hold it tight though. Hold the stick. Come on. Here, he will Dewi. Come in a minute. Mm, one minute, please. It's okay. I come. Hey, bye. Hi, look. He might not be hungry. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Here he goes. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. Yum. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, bud. It's little meat. Yeah. A little meat. meat. Hold it Come up on, there. Dewey. Hold Come it. on, Dewey. Hold it up a little higher. Come on, Dewey. Oh, it's it's like sliding down again. Oh, oh we don't sliding know. down again. Wow. <laughs> oh. Dewey! Come back. Uh oh. I know. Okay. Yeah, right, be good. patient now. Dewey again. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Dewey, come on. I go. Oh, he's coming. Dewey is coming. Oh, you know. Wow. Yeah, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How oh, about you, boy? One more time for you, boy. Come on. Dewey! Daddy! You bought four. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't get my the turn. Didn't get my stick. You gotta hold the stick, hold guys. Dewey! One more time, Dewey. Big girl. Yo! Okay! Beautiful, huh? Hey, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my Wow. There you go. There's your little bit. There's your little bit. Lick it, lick it. Mm. Lick it. Mm. One more time for you. Thank you. Come on, Dewey. He gets a lot of. Wow. Good job. Good job. Daddy. All right. Daddy. 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 Look at the camera, please. Yeah. Aww. Good job. Yay. Good job, Daddy. She, she job heard something. Yes. The last one. For you, Daddy. Up here. Oh, she's humongous. She's so beautiful. Oh, good Yay. job. Hey, bye to the Tsukuma. Let's go 
see him up close real quick. I think we can go pet the elephants without riding them. Maybe we can feed them too. Well, let's go see. Daddy, you want to learn about what, about those, how high they can go? Okay. Are you going to teach me? Yes. So there's a water thing and from a hose for the middle ones. And then that way out onto the ground. That's it. That's it? That looks pretty cool. Thanks for teaching me about the water, bud. Hey, you want to go learn about some elephants? Yeah, I already learned about an elephant. You want to go see if we can feed them? Yeah. Oh, look at him. That's a monk. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Oh, I think he wants to get up there. He has stretchy arms. <laughs> They're monkeying around. Oh, that's so cute. What do you got in there, Sammy? Carrot. I got. I got a banana. Put it in his nose. Put the banana. Of course I did. Put it in his nose. Let's, let's wait for our turn. Put it in his nostril. Daddy gets the banana. Oh, that is, you guys, you guys take it. I'm not gonna feed it. Okay. Okay. Please, can I have the carrot? Um, carrot. Okay. okay. How about we split this carrot? That is, that's a good okay. idea. Split the carrot. That's what I was asking. There we go. All right. Here you go. Hey. Nice negotiation there. We're supposed to feed this one now. Come on. It's okay. It's good stuff. Well, I'm going on the ride. You want to give it to him real quick? <laughs> it's your banana. That thing's hungry. Oh, you're uh, eating it? You feed your other thing. Look, you can slop it on me. <laughs> it's slop it on me. While I feed it, why don't you try to pet it real quick? Now that I'm going to feed him slobbered on my leg. He's slobbered on you. All right, that's pretty awesome. They get fed a lot of food. Oh, look at all of them over there on the wall. <laughs> sleeping like that? Yeah, sleeping. <laughs> Everyone's sleeping here. They're like statues. It must be a siesta. Look, he woke up. He was sleeping like this a moment ago. Oh, he's going back to sleep. I think monkeys are so cool. They're like my favorite. So we stopped here at the cafe. There's a, apparently an orangutan that's gonna roam around the cafeteria. Guess what? It's out of its cage. Yeah. There's How a, did it get out of its cage? That's part of the show. There's no show. There's a free roaming orangutan here in the cafe. He's just hanging out. He's on his way over here. This is awesome. Thank you.
different species and that one above your head is one of them. Any of you want to raise your hand? Okay, yeah, come hey. on. So this is the first one. May I know your name please? Hi everyone, I'm Nicole. Nicole, where are you from? Florida. Okay, from Florida, United States. Well, give a big applause please for our first sponsor here, Nicole. So Nicole, for the first one, we're gonna do a magic trick. Have you done a magic trick before? No. No. So, in this afternoon, we will try to do it. So, we have to make a preparation first. So, this is so simple. Make a hand like this. Yes, and both of your hand. Make it together like that. To your body. That's right. So, if there's a magic trick, there's always a magic word. So, if I say, Bim Salabim, you have to say, Abracadabra. Okay. So let's practice it first. Let's try it first. Well, everyone, bim salabim. Abracadabra. That's a beautiful abracadabra. And now please make welcome the first animal. Wow, this is Peter, our yellow grass cockatoo. The same one above your head over there, but this one is, yeah, gonna do the magic trick. Well, seems like Peter is the medium-sized bird that can be found in Australia and also in some island of Indonesia. So, we're gonna do the magic trick now. You still remember the magic word? Okay, get ready. Bim Salabim. Abracadabra. Abracadabra, there you go. Wow, the bird is fall asleep. Well, what did you do to Peter? I did magic. You did magic? I think you can do hypnotize here. The bird is falling asleep. Wow. Look at that, Peter. He's so smart. So please do not hypnotize us here. If we fall asleep, you will stand in here until this presentation finishes. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. So now you have to prepare your magic word again. Get ready. Well, everyone, Bim Salabim. Abracadabra. Abracadabra, there you go. Give a big applause, please, for our magician here and also the trainer. Thank you so much. So that was Peter, the first animal, and after this, it's going to be more exciting. Yes, and now, please make welcome Ocha. And let's see, where is Ocha coming from? Oh, from the left side. Look at that, so beautiful. So this is Ocha, yes, the oriental pied horn bear, which is known as the medium size of hornbill bird that can be found in Southeast Asia, including here in Indonesia. Do you know, in Indonesia, there are 13 species of hornbill bird, from the medium size until the huge one. And the biggest hornbill in the world is known as the Renaissance hornbill that also we have here at the zoo area. Okay, watch your head please, be careful. He will try to feed Ocha, and he will prepare you with a tray. So you have to put the tray on your head, and you have to pull down the rope on his side to make it balance. Okay, get ready, sir. Pull down the rope, please. Yeah, that rope. Pull it down, make it balance, make it stronger. Are you ready? Okay, Ocha, our volunteer is ready. And here's some other slice of fruit for you. It's coming. Whoa, perfect landing. 
and look at this bird, it's so beautiful, it has a very long bill and also very pointy in the front. Wow, sir, how do you feel? Is it heavy or light? Light. It's light, that's right, because this bird is only weighed up until 1.5 kilograms. Wow, give a big applause please for our second party here. Thank you so much, have a seat. And for the next one, you want to try? Come on. Yeah, yes, get close here, come on. Now let's try once again. You can stand here. And may I know your name, please? Lucy. Lucy, okay. From Florida as well? No, where are you from? Australia. From Australia. Is anyone from Australia here? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. That's right. Okay, as you can see before, I have to put this on your head and you have to pull down the rope. And please do not touch the tray. If you lose your finger, we don't have any guarantee. I'm uh, just kidding. And Ocha is coming. Wow, oh, benar dengan sempurna. Kita lihat sama-sama ya. Wow, sepertinya Ocha sangat menikmati buah pada sore hari ini. It seems like Ocha really enjoying the fruit. Thank you so much. Once again, excuse me, please. Yeah. And after this, we will meet Ocha friends. But before that, I need three volunteer kids or adults over there. And my friends Echo will give you some instruction. Thank you. Okay, yeah. yeah. This side, please. You want to try? Come on. You want to try? Hold on, yeah? Okay, yeah. Ready? It is coming for ya. Whoa. Look at that. Yum, yum. So delicious. Oh. That's what I know you can do it, Ichi. There you go. Wow, langsung ya. Bisa saling kata apa nih sama burungnya? Okay. For the male bird, there is a yellow patch on their neck. As you can see, this is known as the PRT, Positive Reinforcement Training. By training the bird very naturally. Wow. Oh, look at that. Danny is so beautiful. Wow. Once again, give a big applause, please, for Danny and also the trainer. This bird is very dangerous. All right. Without further ado, please make welcome to white velvet sea eagle Viva. Yes, this is the species of eagle. And look at that. Wow, so huge. In the wildlife, this bird can be found in northern Australia and also in some islands of Indonesia, especially in the east part, as you can see here. Well, this bird sometimes can be found in Papua and also in some island of Indonesia. As you can see, the trainer here throwing the food in the air, I mean like the bird in the air, and this bird still hang on its claw. So that means they have a very good sharp claw. Yes, their claw is very sharp. Right, give a big applause, please. Please make welcome Raka and friends, the other species of eagle. How many birds do we have here? One, two, three, and four. Look at that. And we have one. Nah, mereka merupakan spesies burung elang berukuran sedang yang dapat ditemukan di kawasan pesisir Bali, Jawa, dan juga di Australia. Dan mereka merupakan burung elang bondol ya. Dan kita bisa lihat bersama-sama. Dan mereka di sini melemparkan makanan ke udara. Dan itu dengan mudah ditangkap oleh burungnya. As you can see here, the turn is really good in here. And this bird can catch it very easily. So that's mean this bird has a very good eyesight. It's seven times sharper than our eyes. And also, they are equipped with a very sharp claw that help them to catch the food in the air. Yes, they are known as the Brahmini kite, the medium-sized bird of the predator. Whoa! And after this, I need more quality. Are you ready? Okay, aturannya sederhana sekali ya. Tangan tetap di bawah, tidak boleh menyentuh kepala ya. Okay, sekarang lihat ke kamera. Dan kita undang dulu nih trainernya. And let's see, what is the trainer doing now? We have right here, we can wriggle all around you. And who's gonna come in first? And let's see, look at that one. Don't touch your head, please. Kamu boleh sentuh kepalanya ya. Kita coba sekali lagi. Okay, langsung nih. Wow, raka. Wow. Adiknya langsung panik nih. How do you feel? Gimana rasanya? Sakit atau kayak dipijit? Sakit. It hurts. Oh, you're so honest. Thank you so much. Give me the so cross, awesome. please. And for the next one from this side, I try once again from this side. Anyway, I know you know, please. Peter. Peter, where are you from? Australia. From Australia. Wow, so many Aussie made here. And now, are you ready? The rule is simple. Hands down and do not touch your head. Okay, sir. Ready? And let's see. We have Raka Riki and Rico. Kita lihat bersama-sama ya. Okay, ada Raka. Wah, langsung disamar nih. Ini dia, Raka dari depan. Dan dari samping kiri ada Pon. Lah, oh, gak jadi ya. Nah, langsung nih, Riki dari sebelah kiri. Okay. Wow, the wind is so heavy. 
How do you feel, sir? Is it hurt or is it good? Tickles. It's tickles. So that means you are so strong. Oh, thank you so much. Give a big applause, please. Thank you, sir. Oh, we can't move. So please give a big applause for our brave hunter here. This is the last one, and let's see. Is this going to happen? Or the bird will take the hunter fly away. So it's really simple. Hands down. And do not move your head. Yeah, good. And let's try. This is the last one. And let's see, is it Raka or Riga is gonna come in first? Okay, Bond, it seems like looking at you. Oh, there you have a Raka. Oh, there you have a Raka. Okay, how did you feel? Is it good? Oh, that's all right. Okay. Are you okay? How do you feel? Is it hurt or is it nice? A little bit creepy, so scary. <laughs> I'm so sorry to fight. Thank you. Wow, so so we met this awesome family from Australia, Lucy, Andre, it's very nice meeting you guys. They're about to head to Ubud and we're going to stick around and enjoy the Splash Park. Hacha! The deer is watching you over there. Hacha! Are you ready to go to the water park? Yes, yes, yes. All right, yes, go have fun. Yes, yes. The kids made it to the splash park. We have had a great day here at the zoo. We met an awesome family from Australia and we spent the afternoon with them watching the bird show and eating some lunch. It's a little late in the day, so we decided to go ahead and let the kids come play here at the water park before the zoo closes. There's a kite shop right next to where we're staying and we asked the gentleman if he could build us a kite and I think he's testing it out right now so it should be ready for us to pick up very soon. The kids are excited to fly it. We're trying to pull the kite down here. We got this off. All right, don't let go. Before you let go, sissy, then I'll fly away. Guys, can you see how high? Look, it's going I want to throw it. Um, now I'm going to hold it by myself. I didn't even get to hold it by myself. Yeah, look. Can I try? Now we can definitely fly a kite by ourselves. Here! So ever since we got to Bali, there's all kinds of kites flying in the sky every day. And there's a little kite shop right next to us. And we passed one day and asked him to make a medium sized one. And he's got it up in the sky testing it out right now. He said he needs to make one more adjustment to it. I guess because when there's high wind, there's still a problem with the way it's navigating. So he told us to come back tomorrow and pick it up. We're here for three more days. So hopefully he can get it knocked out and we can get it up in the sky so the kids can have some fun flying it. Show me. Okay, let's go. On the roll roll. This one was leaning. There was like, um, there was like eyes and faces and stuff. I just got one touch. Like, shh. Let's go, Dad. We have to hold hands here. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I know we do. You might fall. Dad, look at all this broken water. I see it. Step up. Oh, look. look at all the broken stuff. This is very good. Right? Our Airbnb host brought Nicole and Sammy on this little path the other day. So they wanted to bring Sawyer and I so we can check it out. It's a secret path to a water temple that's uh, behind the property that we're staying on. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
you guys see the faces in the rocks? Oh, this is what I wanted to show you, these. Oh, these oh, are the there. faces in the rocks? Yeah. There, guys. Wow. Yeah, come on, guys. We're going to have so much fun. This Touch is. his elephant nose. <laughs> Let's go. You can put my hand up there. Let's go. It's down there. Yeah. Be very careful down here. I'm very careful and I'm older than Buddy, so I'm in very careful. So we'll see, I'm very careful. I'm the leader. Let's straighten this. You don't keep breath. Watch out, because there might be poop in here. <laughs> oh, there's my poop. There's a tiny waterfall. Right, Mom? No. Yeah. Really tiny one. Come on, Dad. We're going to enjoy this, but... All right, let's go up the stairs. The long stairs. Be careful. All right. Be a little like this. Oh, like little ones? Yeah. And like this. Slippery? Yeah. And huge rocks, of course. Huge rocks. Let's go. Oh. You good, bud? Yeah. All right. I'm good. Almost there. Almost. <coughs> Hands. Guys, mom. It's a suit step. Yeah. Yes. Good job, sis. Very well. Come on, Vanessa. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm there, guys. I think. Oh. Yep, almost there. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure? You lead the way. I haven't been here before. You have. Oh gosh, what was that? Oh. What is it? I don't know. A falling branch, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Watch out, because there could be falling branches over here. Yeah. Almost there, I'm pretty sure. No more stairs. Almost there. Almost. And now we made it! Finally! <laughs> we still got a lot of work. Uh, a lot of walking to do? Road. Good job, bud. It's I'm good. You know what that's called? No. A dam. It looks like a natural dam. <gasps> yep, looks like another lake one. Yeah. It's coming right off the wall. Look, look, there's a game right there. Mama, can you run over? Well, yeah, I'm going to go. Whoa. Yeah? Yes. Oh, cool. Guys, look, he's got a fish. Is it real or live yeah, fish? Look. Oh, how did he get it? He caught it. Huh? Let, him, let him take it so he can get it back in the water if he wants. Oh, he just took it. Maybe he's, maybe he's bringing it. Puppies. Yeah, hello puppies. Hello. Look at that. Can I put it on me? No, it's super heavy. Uh, oh, look, look. Yeah, don't push it though. It's like a big but rock necklace. Can the rocks even fall off? Uh, maybe. But it's just for decoration. Let's watch our steps, okay? We gotta go down these stairs. Small ones. Okay, let me hold your arm. Go upstairs. Hello. Yes. No, no, thank Hope you. We're walking. Very we careful. Yeah, watch your step.
Ubu definitely has different vibes depending on where you go. In the center, it's very chaotic. It's pretty busy, at least for us. And the further you get outside from the center, then it becomes very relaxing. Had my first Balinese massage yesterday morning. It was amazing. So I told Nicole I could probably go for one of those every morning to start my day. But we'll definitely have to do those more often. It, uh, it definitely relaxes the body, brings out some tension and pain that's probably built up over the years if you don't do that very often. The sidewalks here aren't very uh, family friendly. For example, But we just have to be safe. And always keep an eye on the kids. Oh, watch the cable. The infrastructure here is not great. Although I'm sure it's improving. Or at least I would assume it's improving. The roads are very narrow. For vehicles at least the main mode of transportation obviously is by scooter or motorbike but we are not comfortable enough to get all four of us on a scooter so we walk or take a go jack most of the time i've been trying to walk as much as possible we found a secret path that leads to well not secret but for us we call it a secret path that actually leads to town instead of having to walk a mile we can walk shorter distance to get here to town, which is uh, which is good. There are a lot of steps involved though, but the kids make a game out of it, so we make it fun. Right, buddy? We race up the stairs. Yeah, Daddy. Wait, wait, Daddy. Can I can I make your thing now? It won't. It yeah, won't. here. You wanna make my hair spiky real quick? Yeah. All right. It won't take that long. Okay. So wait. Put a little bit of rainbow stuff on there. Actually, clean stuff. <laughs> then we make it all smooth. Yeah. Are you a barber now? Yeah. Can I try? Sawyer and I got our haircuts at a spa the other day. And now he's a barber. Can I still wear my hat after? Yeah. Okay. I'm making, I'm not, I'm trying to make it all, um, I'm trying to make it all clean first. Okay. okay. All right, bud, thank you very much. You're all finished. All right. At the store, can I do it? Anything yeah. for a little entertainment for a few yeah. minutes. <laughs> You're gonna beat me. I don't. <laughs> That's so close. <laughs> <sighs> Mommy, I made it for you. Come on, bud, you got this. I'm gonna do a race. No, Connor, no. I'm racing with Mommy. Oh, you got this, bud. <laughs> yeah. No, there's. Haven't you won the yet? <laughs> What's going on? We're working on it still. <laughs> All right. Whew, it's a good workout. Well, we went to the supermarket real quick, pick up a couple of things. Now we're heading back on our secret path. Actually, well, you like this secret path, bud? This isn't a secret path. Oh, it's not? Not anymore? We're gonna go check to see if the kite's ready. If not, we'll check again tomorrow. Our kite might be ready soon. We just, uh, we're out here hanging out on the porch. Kids are playing some soccer. And they looked up in the sky. Oh, there it is, guys. The kids looked up in the sky and the kite it's a little wobbly, but it's flying. Ooh, it's windy. There's another kite that they're flying. I don't know if it's the same people that are building the kite for us, but that one is looking a lot more stable. It's not moving around so much. All right, let's go see if our kite's ready. All right, it's time. Sorry, go ask if the kite's ready, bud. Where is she? Right here. Yeah, I'll
It's ready? It's ready. Yay. Okay, Bubby. Hang on, sis. It's big. Don't hit people with it. All right, kite's ready. We're going to go fly it here in a little while. Is that in the wood? Uh, this so way? Not in the wood. Not in the wood? Not in the wood. What is it called? Kudewatan is the one in the field. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just go hard. Straight? Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right again. Um, Pull out the straight. <laughs> we got the kite, but it doesn't come with string. <laughs> so we still can't fly it. We got to go buy some string. So he tried to give us directions to where to get the string. Uh, we'll see if we can find it or not. But we're not going to go fly it right now. We're going to go eat some lunch. So I'm going to put it in the room and then after lunch, we'll go see if we can find the string and then finally get to fly it. It's pretty big. Mm. All right, we had lunch here at the Walroom Ting Ting. The second time we've eaten here, pretty good food. Had some mee goreng chicken. Had a little bit of ice cream for dessert. Now we're gonna go see if we can find some kite string. It's a beautiful day. Look, there's kites in the sky. Or at least there's one. <laughs> We're gonna try to put ours up in the sky if we can find some string, right guys? Yes. We're gonna head into town. There's a kite shop right next to the art market, which we've been to a few times. So we've, uh, we're gonna grab a car through Gojek, head into town, try to get some kite string, come back home, get the kite, take it somewhere, and get it in the sky before the day ends. We've got a few more hours of daylight. Hopefully that's enough time for us to get it up. If not, I don't know, we've got one more day. We could try it again tomorrow, but the wind conditions today are excellent, so we're gonna try to get it done today, right, bud? Yes! I'm going Get on the sidewalk. I got it. Thank you. All right, watch the step. Come. Back in town. It's so crowded here. We made it to the market. There's a couple places upstairs that sell kites. We're gonna see if they have the kite string there. Hello. Come on. That's the market that you were talking about. Jump over the leaves. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! So this is where I saw the beautiful kite. Okay, lead the way. All right, you guys lead the way. Watch where you're going, though. Okay. Watch where you're going, Sammy. Hello, Ada. Hello. Back there. Tell me where. Well, I thought you were leading the way. No, come on, keep going, keep moving, keep moving. Let's go, let's go. We're here for one thing and one thing only. Upstairs, up the stairs, let's go. Come on, guys, it's gonna be fun. Sorry, excuse us. Thank you. Them if they have the kite string, baby. Oh, you do know where you're going, don't you? They were right here. Yeah, that's where the kites are at. There they are. Let's see if they got string. You want to ask them if they have a kite string? <laughs> there it is. How much? string. Yes. We already have a kite. 20,000. All right, give him your money. 
Yeah. I have money. You a do? A bunch of it. You got a bunch of money? Five. You have five? No, I have five of um, the money. And you give this. Give it to him. Here you go. Thank you. Yay, we got it. Um, uh, more than 200 meters. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. We got I told it. you I know. I told you I know. Good job, sis. Snap. All right, let's go get our kite and go fly it. Sissy, it's 16. Sixteen. Sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. Took some off. Thank you. Have a good day. Stand over here, please. Make sure to Bye. All right, guys, let's go fly our kite. We don't have much more daylight left. Okay, a little daylight left. Should have should be enough for us to, to fly the kite. Assuming we can get it up in the sky. Earlier it was perfect conditions, but now. I don't see any of the other kites in the sky. We'll see if we can get it up though. All right, I think I got it. You're good. Our kite is ready. Let's do this. We got some wind starting to pick up a little bit. We've come, uh, we've come to the end of the road. There's like a parking lot here, kind of open skies. I'm gonna try to fly it here. See if we can get it up. Oh, we gotta be careful though, cause look, there's a kite stuck in the tree up there. Where? Up there. Over there, I want to make sure we don't get it stuck in the tree anywhere. But here we go, let's give it a shot. Alright, let's see if we can get it up. We're going to see if, if our kite can make it up. I think in the rice field. Can that kite even make it up? This way, down down there? Mm, down the stairs? Yeah. The Daddy, try to run and then yeah. it... Wait. Because no space here. Yeah. yeah. So many. Can we go over there? Yeah. Hang on, let me just see if we can okay. get it up. There might not even be enough wind for now. Just run! I think the trees are kind of blocking it. Oh. Daddy, you gotta try to roll it up some more. Daddy, try to roll it up some more and then it and then run probably. Daddy, should we go to the rice field? Hang on. Try to help this time. Mm, come on, Birdie, you can handle this. Come on, Birdie! Come on, Birdie! There's no wind here. We're, we're down too far. Daddy, should we go to the rice field? Yeah. yeah, let's try it. First attempt did not work out. Actually broke the tip of it there, the little nose. There's just not enough wind in this area. Unfortunately, he's like down in a little parking lot. So we're gonna go over here. There's some open rice fields and see if we can get some more uh, wind that way. We're losing daylight. Hopefully in an open area like that though, there's more wind and I can get the kite up more to where the wind can catch it and get it up in the sky. I haven't flown a kite. I don't even remember the last time I flew a kite. But let's get through the jungle and to the rice fields. Here before. You've been here before? Maybe. All right, you have a great memory, sweetie. You led us to the kite string. Now you're leading us to the rice fields. Oh yeah, let's go. All right. Good job, Sammy. I there. think there's open rice fields over there. Yeah. There should be a little, maybe a walking sure. path I can get on. Sammy's just gonna lead us where we need to go from now on. I remember he's amazing. I need something to like let it loose. It keeps getting caught in my finger.
Dad, I think you need a little adjustments here. <gasps> oh no. Should should I come and help? It's and hold stuck. It? Hang on. Sammy, can you tell us why you're sad? So I was so excited to play the kite and I wanted to help Daddy out. Well guess what? Sammy, tomorrow we're gonna wait for the best wind all day long. And then we're gonna come and fly it here and that bird's gonna go up in the sky. And today we're gonna make the string better and you can help us with that. This is the time that Danny needs to do it. Let's try it. Just run, Sammy. Oh no, I lost the string. Oh no. That was total failure. I'm gonna blame it on not having enough wind, but I see other kites in the sky. There's a couple, so they were able to get them up. I think I've either tied it in the wrong place or I don't know, I just couldn't get up and get it up in the sky. Trying to get a running start to try to give it a little bit of lift and I got it a little bit in the air and then it, just, it would just fall down. Got the string all tangled up, it's a mess. So now I'm gonna have to un, un wind it, get it all straightened out, get it on a spool, which will be easier to let it unwind. Once it's up in the air, broke the nose. Uh, I think I can fix that with some tape, but first attempt was a total failure. I know the kids were excited. I feel like I let them down a little bit, but we'll try again tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little more windy and we can get it up in the sky for them. Tomorrow's our last day here. So that's our last chance. We can't travel with this thing, unfortunately. It doesn't break down either. It's uh, it's pretty sturdy construction. I got the string untangled. I've got it on a new spool, and it's it's pretty much dark. <laughs> so out of time today, but we're gonna give it another shot tomorrow. It's a new day. The wind is blowing. We're gonna go try to fly the kite. I was going to get up earlier and get out and get an early start, but last night was an interesting night. We were awoken by the bed rumbling and the doors rumbling and the house shaking. There was a 7.1 magnitude earthquake just north here of Bali in the Bali Ocean and the Bali Sea. Woke us up around 4, 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, kind of a scary experience, but all good. No injuries, no damage done. Just another experience while we've been here in Bali. Ready guys? Ready. Let's go. Here we go. Me too. I've got the string on a toilet paper roll. So it's it's on an, a better spool. Hopefully that'll help unwind easier. Man, this, this walk is just so cool. The nose, I tried to tape it. I don't know if it actually affects the flight path or not. We'll see. Brought some extra tape in case it doesn't hold up. All right, baby, I need you to lead the way. Okay, let me get in front of you. You lead the way. Is that a stick? Is that a stick or just a leaf? Can you pick it up? Is it kind of hard? No, it's like it's yeah. Stickly. I'll get right. something else. I, I want to stick. You're welcome for leading the way. Thank you for leading the way, sweetie. I, I appreciate know. you. Hang Tell on. me what you need, Caught and I'll the lead there. the way. Tell All right. Tell me what you need, and I'll lead I need the you way. to take me to the rice fields. And a stick field, Daddy, so I, I can get some sticks. You. Oh, that's perfect, bud. All right, let's go, sis. It's very strong. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, back. Back to the rice fields. I don't see any kites in the sky at the moment, but there is a nice little breeze. See the, the kites getting some air under it. All right, let's do this. Okay, thank you, sir. It's Sammy. I'm just gonna put it through here like this. All right, so you guys go over there, please. There's water in the field today. So. Yeah, don't fall in there, daddy. Yeah. Oh. 
You gotta let it higher, higher, higher. Daddy, when the wind starts blowing, you gotta let it higher, then it will fly. You guys think it's gonna fly today? Yeah. I always say no. <laughs> Run! Relief it, relief it higher! Higher, higher, higher! Faster! Ah, bird fly! <laughs> Ooh, that's looking good. Daddy, let it loose! Let it loose! Let it loose! It's flying! Come on, wind! Go, 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 more, go, go! More, more, more. I'm out of Dad. wind! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Release it, release it, release it, release it! More, 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 more! More, Daddy, more! Release it, release Woo! it, release it, release it! We're flying! We're flying! We're flying. <laughs> release it, release it, release it, release it, release it! Woohoo! Woohoo! We found it, we found it! Oh, we're coming! I'm so sorry, guys. Come Is on, it stuck? It's, it's probably stuck. stuck. But guys, it was up in the sky! Wasn't that amazing? Oh, we'll yeah, see if we can get stuck. it. No, I'm, I'm really sorry. I thought I had yeah. it up there for you guys. Yeah. I thought I had a lot more string. You said 200 meters. Is that 200 meters? Yeah. Oh, I need like a thousand meters. Yeah. If I had more string, I could have gotten it up further. Go see if I can get it unstuck. <laughs> Bit careful. Maybe I'm Here, go you see want... if I can get it unstuck. Right? It's right there. I can see it. Can I but it's see on someone's that? property. I'm going to see if I can go over and get it. Oh, open. Let's see if I'm just going. There it is. I can see it. I'm going to see if I can get it loose. It's stuck in some branches. Babe, I'm going to have to go get the food. Oh, oh hang on. Oh, I almost had it down. Got the kite down. Now I just gotta get it tied back up and we're back in business. We got it. Daddy? Ooh, I thought it was a goner, but we got it back. We're still in business, Let me... but our food has arrived. We ordered some lunch and figured we could come out and get it up while we were waiting for the food. We're gonna try again after we eat. Maybe the wind will be a little better then. Uh, got a couple good gusts of wind and I thought I had it up there. I thought I had it. Daddy, I was about to, I was about to go give it to the kids, and then that's when it started coming down, and Daddy, eventually ended up in the tree. Down and it, was stuck, it was a great breeze that time. I know we had it up there. Next time, I just have to be more careful and make sure it's up and not sideways. That way, I have more control over it. A, but did I do a All right, stay tuned. We're making our way back to the rice fields. This is our final attempt. We've got about one hour left of daylight. So hopefully, hopefully this works out. Here's our final attempt of getting this bird in the sky and letting, and keeping it in the sky and letting the kids fly a kite for a little while at least. It's not quite as hot as it was earlier, which is nice. And there's actually a little breeze, a consistent breeze. So I think we might be in luck. Looser, looser, looser. Come on, birdie. I'll get a mix. Okay, do it. Get up there. I don't think there is any air at the moment. Ah. Fly, birdie, fly! Fly! Oh, yeah, we just don't cut it up. This is our first time that we got it up. Without letting it. Wow. Daddy, can I hold it? 
Hang on. Come here. <gasps> Hold it. Look. Hold it. No. Oh, come on. Let Sawyer hold it real quick. Hey, do more straight. Okay, hang on, sis. Let go. Can Bubby try it? Here, Bubby, hold it. You make it. Got it. Hold high. it. Hang on. Let me see if I can get it a little higher. No. No, it's going higher, guys. Why are you saying no? That it's going don't, don't fall in the higher. Thing. There we go. Hold it. Hold it with your hands, bud. Hang on. There you go, bud. Hold it. You got it? Yeah, now I'm flying the kite. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Phew. That was a close one, right? That was a very close one, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. Should we let it down? Oh, I lost it. The oh, no. oh no! What? He wanted to fly away without us. Oh no! Hurry! Oh. The, the, the string snapped. No! The bird wanted to be left loose into the into the wild. Hey guys, but we got to fly it! Woo! We got to fly it! <laughs> it's in somebody's yard. Well, good, good riddance. Woo! We had to give it away one way or another, so daddy, daddy, hold somebody me. else can have it. Let me, let me, let me you call can put for the string. party if, if you come back. Okay, okay. Okay, call for him. Party! Was that fun, though? Come back! Was that fun? All right, well, mission accomplished. I did get it up in the sky. Both of the kids got to fly it for a couple seconds. Daddy, this is I was my hoping for longer, one. but I don't know. The string must have got worn out there towards the top. And, uh, daddy, I felt that I had the tension on it, and then it was gone. At least it landed somewhere over Hello. there beyond the houses. But this was a fun, fun time. Hello, Daddy, I hope the kids will remember this for Look this villa. It's pretty close to the beach. We'll show you that in a minute. But we wanted to give you a tour and show you the place because we're very impressed. This place is just amazing. We want to show you what you usually get here in Bali. And we can show you everything that's in this house. Yeah, let's go. Let's go show them. So first, it's pretty private. There's a gate. There's a lot of stairs. We're gonna Watch out. walk up Oops. the stairs here to the entryway. And here's a little. Um, what is that? It's bench. A bench. <laughs> there you go. A little sitting and area. Here's the door to the house. Watch out, Patty, because we heard a gecko out here. Oh that yeah, might... geckos are pretty okay, common here in Bali. First, what do we have here? Is our dinner table. This and is our dinner table. You did not see this yet. <laughs> and a living and a area. TV. It's got a TV. A nice sitting area, a little den here. There's lots of windows, so it's nice and bright. Over here we have a little kitchenette. We've got the sink, a little toaster oven, and there is a stove top here with a couple burners. We're not using that, obviously. There's a drinking water and then a small fridge. And then we have the sitting area as well. Nice comfy chairs. You like those chairs? They're comfy, huh? Big old table here, and there's some side tables. And then there's this view. One of the cool things about this pool area, let me show you guys, the doors slide open and this whole entire thing Whoa. opens up. So whenever you're ready, you just step out. Oh, we're not going in right now. And there's the pool. We took a dip in the pool yesterday. It's very nice and relaxing and refreshing. This wall of doors also opens up to the deck and then there's a couple of doors over there that open up. So very nice to have all that open and get all that nice air coming in. Downstairs, there's a half bath. So there's a toilet here and then got a sink and a mirror. And now we're gonna make our way upstairs. There are several flights of stairs, so we'll make our way up. There's some construction going on out back. It seems like everywhere we go here in Bali, there's construction around us. All right, that's from the first room. The bedrooms have air conditioning units. These are the only rooms with air conditioning units. Here's the bed, yippee. It's freezing cold right now. <laughs> there's these huge window panes that Let's also up open here. up. So we rented this on Airbnb. It rents for about 3,000 a month. If you compare that to a house like this in the US, that's pretty insane. But we've only rented it for a couple of days. There's a bathroom, it's got a big soaker tub, stand up shower, toilet, 
and then one sink. The bedrooms are pretty much the same. Uh, one's a little larger than the other. Here's the second room. Look out here. This room's got a couple extra Look. windows on the side. <laughs> that's where mm -hmm. we were at the first. Yeah, that's where we started the tour. There's a desk here. Yes, buddy. Big open, I guess this is There's considered a closet, bathroom. another AC unit. There's a soaker tub in here. Like I said, the bathrooms are pretty much the same. Then a large king size bed. More big open windows with a nice view to the ocean. Ocean's right over there, you can see it. You'll get a better view up top. All right, let's make our way up the next flight of stairs. This is one of the coolest features of this property. And this is pretty much where we spent all day yesterday when we first got here in the afternoon. <laughs> so you get pretty much a 180 degree view from the top. This is the rooftop terrace. You got the ocean in the distance. You got these two huge beds basically that you can sit on and relax. There's a really nice breeze that comes through here so it stays pretty nice and cool. But check out this view. Sawyer, what do you think about this property bud? Good. What do you think, sis? Okay. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this place that we ever been to right Is this for, your favorite place? From now on. Yeah? <laughs> then there's a public beach at the southernmost point here in Bali, and that's where we're going to head to in just a little bit. There's a helicopter. Did you see? The whole, that helicopter just started getting up and we watched it. Where's it going? Oh, that's my first time seeing a helicopter. Can I ask you something, guys? Did you know helicopters wait patiently to get high up in the sky? Yeah, very patient. That was neat, huh? Look, I just Guys. Guys, look at the pirate ship over there. Yeah. Oh, it looks like this used to be maybe a restaurant. What happened to it? It has been abandoned. Whoa, look at the big waves over there. Yeah. These are some of the biggest waves I've ever seen. Wow. Let's go check out the big waves. Let's do it. All right, so this is the southernmost point here in Bali, Malasti Beach, and there's these huge waves coming in. Here comes one. What are you thinking about the waves, Sammy? Cool. What do you think about the waves, bud? Dip my feet in there. You want to go dip your feet in there? Wow, man, these waves are humongous. Wow. They don't have those kind of waves in Florida. Even when hurricanes came through, I never saw waves that big. Guys, look, look at the wave that's about to break. Those seem like good surfing waves, but I don't see any surfers. Maybe it's not a good spot to go surfing. There's quite a bit of rocks. He's coming, bud. Close, huh? 
We've looked at doing a helicopter ride. Nicole and I have been on a helicopter in Boca Raton and down to South Florida many years ago. It was like 150 bucks on a Groupon deal. Here they're super expensive. We, we looked at doing them and for a 12 minute ride, it's like $450. Daddy, so. <laughs> can I ride the helicopter? You got $450? Mm, I don't have any money. <laughs> what if daddy you learns pay? to fly a helicopter and then I take you guys on a helicopter ride anytime you want? No. You guys ready to go back home and get in the pool? At the start, it was hard not to fall apart. Looking back, and we know we are stronger than that. September 7th, 2006. That's when Nicole and I first started dating. So in celebration of our 17 years dating anniversary, we've booked this resort here in Bali. The resort is called the Conrad Bali. I just wanna show you guys the room. So check this out. So as you come in the door, there's a kitchen to the left with a dining table and BOW! <laughs> it's like a whole house. So there's like a little half kitchen over here, a little wet bar. Going into the living room, it has two couches and a chair to sit in. Say hey guys! Hi! Look over there, it's amazing! Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in just a second. What do you guys think about the place? Guess what? I just can't believe my eyes, it's just wow. Guys, guys, guess what? Guess what, guys? Um, guess what? There's two doors, and when we go this way, um, we can come out this way because there's another door. Cause there's two, there's one door. There's two doors. Let me go give them a tour over there. Now over here is the patio that leads out to this beautiful oasis. There's a rock pool, a little lounge area, very serene and green. Love it. Coming back in. Got the living room and the kitchen, and then we have the master suite. Two queen size beds. You know it's an expensive resort when the towels are folded like this. This place is about $700 a night. No, we did not pay $700 for the night to stay here. We're staying for one night. We used points once again to book this hotel for the night, and we just got here, but we've, we've seen the pool. It's right on the beach, like a 20 second walk to the beach and there's a kids pool over there. They've got a kids club. Uh, we're gonna go check out the pool here in just a little bit. We're gonna walk over to the beach and check it out. That's not it. We've got the restroom to get to off the master suite here. We've got the- uh, It's huge. It's huge, yeah. We've got the vanity there. So Nicole can put on her makeup. Just kidding, she doesn't wear makeup. <laughs> um, and then we got a closet here, which we'll probably not be using. And then, the bathroom, it's a double sink, a huge soaker tub, there's this little seating area, and then a stand-up shower, whoops, door opens <laughs> this way, stand-up rain shower, frosted glass door for privacy here on the toilet with the built-in bidet. There's a little thing that comes out. I'm not going to turn it on all the way because I don't want to get soaked. I'll be using that tomorrow morning probably. If you haven't used a bidet, you're missing out. And then later on, 
they have the fire dance, which we didn't get to go to when we were in Ubud, but we've planned on going to dinner tonight and checking out the fire dance because it's a very special tradition here in Bali and we want to check it out while we're here and this might be the last opportunity that we have to see it. And that's the tour of the Conrad in Bali. We actually took the kids to a kids club yesterday and they got to spend a couple of hours there meeting new kids and uh, having a new teacher doing a couple of activities. They really enjoyed it. They have an activity here for the kids club. It's called the Kura Kura Kids Club and they're gonna paint a wooden duck, which sounds like a lot of fun. So we're gonna take the kids and drop them off for an hour, let them hang out and uh, paint a wooden duck. And then we're gonna go check out some more of the property. And we'll bring you along with us because this place is amazing. So we're in the Suites building, which is all the way on the east side. I think it's the east. On the east side of the property. The kids club is all the way on the west side of the property. So we're gonna try to get there. As Gold Cart Hilton members, we've got a couple of complimentary ice creams for the kids at the pool. We got a complimentary photo session, which we're not gonna do, because you have to book it 24 hours in advance. And we're not gonna be here that long. There's complimentary breakfast. So we won't actually be dining during the fire dance, because it's actually right at the kids' bedtime. But there's a place where we can go and watch where they do the fire dance. So hopefully we get a good view. Yeah, hopefully we get a good view. And hopefully I don't go to sleep. Yeah, hopefully you don't pass out and you get to watch it. Well, are you gonna videotape it? I'm gonna try. Let me zoom in, maybe you can see better. That's the beach out there. We're trying to make it to the kids club in time. We're already late. I took a quick look at the map and it looked like we were here. Kids club was on the very opposite side. So we're making our way over now. This place is sprawling. It's massive. We just gotta keep moving. Don't know exactly how to get there, but we'll see. Where, where are we at, sweetie? What's this sign say? Oh, here we go. Maybe not. Yeah, we can just keep going this way. There's stairs here to go down. We're just making our way, taking our best guess. All right, now we gotta go up this way. Woo! Are you having fun? Yeah. All right, we're gonna, try to get, we're gonna try to get you guys to the kid club. This way. Come on, guys. No, this way, come on. Woo! We're not there yet. That's my point. That's my point. Is this our pool? Yeah. I think we're going the right way. This is the pool. Part of the pool. I'll show you guys. I'll throw the drone up here in a minute. You guys can see how huge this pool is. It's huge. Here's a view from the ground. Maybe, yeah, maybe this way. Right this way, baby. All right, I think we found it. Look, I think this is it. What's Donald Duck? Alright. <laughs> wow. 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 So we made it. I think just in time. Uh, yes, please. Uh, it's, so pretty. it's actually a wooden right turtle, not a wooden duck. But that's one of the options that they get to do. This place is pretty cool. We've got like a little play set for them, a little foosball table, like some other little rooms that they can play in. This would be fun for them. All right. All right, kiddos are at the day club. They're gonna have so much fun. They got a little wooden turtle that they're gonna paint and play some other games while my bride and I are gonna go check out the rest of the property and bring you along with us. They got uh, diving water sports that you can do. Feel like it's own little beach. They got jet skis. There's like a little walled off section here on the actual ocean that you can go swimming in, it looks like. You see the ships out there. It's this nice ocean breeze. This place is awesome. We've made our way down to the other end of the property. 
and it's pretty much more of the same but there's this huge beach with uh, chairs set up there's like these little these little huts back here that you can rent I guess you rent them I don't know if we can just jump in there or not found the spot where we'll be watching the fire dance from. There's all these tables down there that are reserved where you eat dinner, but the fire dance starts at 7.15, which is right when we get the kids ready for bed. So we're gonna watch from this balcony, and then we'll head back to the room and get the kids uh, to sleep. But the stage is right down here. So we'll have a nice view from the back and the top, but it should be fun. I'm gonna need a few minutes. See you guys in a minute. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for the brief pause. Now we're gonna go get the kids and go hit up the pool for a little while. While we were away, I think while we were away, it might have been while we were here, we were a little preoccupied, but the, uh, the hotel delivered an uh, anniversary cake for us, which is very endearing. We can leave the kids at the day club until five. It's about quarter after four, but we're gonna go pick them up and go try to enjoy the pool for a little while. I'm sure that they'll enjoy swimming. Yeah. You wanna go to the pool? You wanna go to the pool? No. Need to go to the pool too. All right, handsome yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah. Can I do? Can Auntie Vida come with you go to swim? She comes yeah. with us? Yes. Yeah. You can, can come with us. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Turtle Boy. My Turtle. My Turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Y
and then get over to the lobby balcony in order to see the fire dance. Are you excited to see the fire dance, son? Yeah, but can I ask you something? What? I do not like and walk up the stairs. You don't like walking? I like walking down them. You like walking down That's them? That's more faster. It is faster. But this is good exercise. What do you think about this place, bud? Good. You like it? Yeah. No. This is the Suko restaurant. We found our way. It's in the lobby. That looks cool. No, I don't have to So the stage is set. Looks really cool. Can I have one of these? Are you ready for the fire dance? Yes. Uksama. Alright, let's go check it out. I bet you could if you practice. I saw the people, I saw two of the people wrestling. Did you? Yeah. Oh look, that's cool. It's pretty awesome, you can smell the kerosene. What did you think about it? I don't know. Guess what? At what? the very end of, yeah. not the very end, but at the very end of the um, dancing on that one, he blew fire I out of his mouth. That was crazy. How could he do that? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. You're real. Oh wow. We're gonna check out the Rooster Fish Beach Club today here in Bali. It's at the Pendawa Beach. So the way it works is you have to spend a minimum amount of money here at the Rooster Fish Club uh, for food, which we're about to go and enjoy some lunch ourselves, uh, which comes out to about $60. And then you get access to all the amenities like. Our meal we're about to enjoy it here on our day bed with this as our view so, it's so beautiful so far the, the day is, is starting so off just right the beach is so beautiful can't See wait the to begin. 
It's not the pool. There's the pool and the beach. Yo. Yeah. Uh, about an hour at the pool so far. So he really wants to go play in the sand with his sand toys. So we got some sand toys. And we're gonna go hang out on the beach and play around for a little bit. Are you excited to play in the sand, bud? Yeah. All right, let's go. Watch your step. These are pretty narrow, so let's take our time and be careful. Actually, Daddy's gonna put the camera away so that we can focus while we walk down these very narrow steps. Yeah, put them away. <laughs> lunch now here at the Ulu Cliff House. It's right here on the ocean and uh, looks pretty nice. Look at that wave, bud. Look at the wave crashing. Let's go see if we can find a way down. Thank you. Sook some, uh... Hey, follow me. That was a pretty good lunch. Had a nice burger. It's been a while since I had a burger like that. We're gonna see if we can find our way down to the beach now. There's supposedly a, a path over this way. You know how to get there? Yeah. All right, lead the way. <laughs> Bless you, bud. Down there. Come. Oh, look. Cool. We found a staircase that leads down to the beach right from the restaurant. Yep. This is so cool from up here. Come on, Daddy. It's gonna be. We're gonna make our way down and check it out. It's, Daddy, it's pretty cool. I have a cool rock. Whoa, you found a cool rock? Daddy. That's awesome, bud. All right, let's make our way down, sweetie pie. Waves can come this high. Did you know that? Uh, I did not know that. What does that say? Do not lean on the railing. That's exactly what it says. Oh, what's over here? Oh, this is part of the cliff house. What? This is part of the restaurant we were just in. Oh, look. Um, this actually takes you down to the beach. We Should we go down, to there? go down there? We've made our way down. There's actually a walkway that goes down to the sand at the beach. Wow. This is pretty awesome. We can go down on the, the sand there, babe. You wanna go down? Uh, right by the water. Yeah, we won't go in the water. Well, did you see how to get there? Yeah, over here. Come on, I'll show you. All right, Nicole's a little hesitant because we don't have extra clothes with us. Hey, but it's but we'll stay out of the water. We'll just go in the sand, right, baby? Wow, look, this is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. There are steps that lead all the way down. Are you cool? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. 
All right, buddy, you want to go down? Going all the way down? Yeah, there's okay. there's these rock steps, and then there's like actual natural rock steps. All right, let's go down, slow and steady. Yeah, let's just go. All right, let's just go. Let's just go, sissy says. All good? Oh, look, there's like a little cave. There's a rock. Yeah. Stairs. There's oh, rock look. Stairs. Stay right here. There's like a little crab. Look, it's just a crab shell. Come, come closer to me. Can I have it? It's Here. the exoskeleton it, of the crab. Hold it. Put no, it on your hand. Here. I don't want to touch it, please. Don't put it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it up there, bud. Mommy wants to take a picture with it. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. sis, wait a minute. We're going to go down these stairs together. I don't think we can make it over to the sand. We can. Let me see if there's a path to get to the sand. There is a path. I just don't know if I can get there with the kids. So I'm going to go down and take a look. Wow. That's so cool. It's very slippery though. There's lots of moss and it's slippery. Okay, we can do this. All right, sis, come. All right, just watch yeah. your step. All right. All right, look at that. I'm okay from going over look, here. Look at the water over there. We made our way down. Oh, Bobby. that's big coral, that's bud. That's coral. Cool. Look what I found. It's really swirly. Wow. Swirly. We're going to scope out what's on the beach. Daddy, Lots of cool seashells and coral. Daddy, I have an idea. What do you got, baby? Come on. I, I want to show you something. Oh, there's some sea glass. Where's sea glass? The edges are not Where's rough anymore. Glass? Right here. Can I have the sea glass? Can I wash it off for you first? Yeah. Yeah. This sea glass? Yep. Look, the water's getting sucked in. Look, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> That's so cool. I think this is a cool view for you. So I'm just going to leave it right here and you guys can watch it. You got in there some sea glass, some seashells. You That's like clear. you like this beach? Yeah, I love it. I gotta go check on Bobby, make sure he's getting it. Okay, what's he doing over there? He's digging for my clam. He's, he's digging for clams. For Bobby. You wanna take this one? Hey, you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> You're a mess, boy. Sure, sure. I made your hole. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. All right, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Very cool to check out. The, the tide's coming in though it seems and our only way up is over here on this slippery moss covered rock and uh we're gonna head back up before that gets too wet and we're not able to, to cross over but this is neat it's pretty awesome it's like i feel like we're in that movie the beach and like this abandoned little cove so cool all right all right we'll put out a car and we're gonna go check out the Uluwatu Temple now. So this place is very inconspicuous. It kind of looks like nothing. It's next to this place, which is where we got dropped off. And then this is the entrance. It doesn't look like much, but once you get inside, it's beautiful. We had a nice time there for lunch. And now we're heading to the Uluwatu Temple and we're gonna check that out. Hello. Have a nice day.
Tuesday. Yeah. Alright, we've made it. We're not 100% sure if we'll get to get in or not because Nicole has a tank top on. Didn't think about that. Typically, you gotta have to cover your arms when you go into the holy places here. And uh, you gotta wear a sarong, which we have. But we'll see. Let's check it out. Let's have fun! Lift up your hands, bud. I'm, I got nothing. Just wait. Okay. Let's just get your little sash. I got my little sash. Did you get your sash on, bud? You do it, do it. You can do it for me? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Do you want the local guide? Uh, no, thank you. There's a lot of monkeys. Yeah. There's a lot of monkeys. Yes, if we want a local guide. If you want you, I'll help you. Look after. I look after because I'm local here. Local guide here. We'll put it for the $10 to finish. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Got my, uh, my sarong on. Kids got their sashes. All right, he's a local guide, I guess. He did offer his services. He says there's a lot of monkeys around. I wasn't aware of that, but hopefully it's not like in the monkey forest in Ubud where people get attacked. We'll just try to be safe here. There's a lot of monkeys. Yeah, we have to be, hey, Sawyer, we gotta be safe, okay? We can't let the monkeys bite us, okay? Let's try to just stay away from them, okay? Sissy will protect you. But also don't smile at them. We're not going to show them anything. Not look in their eyes and not smile. Hello. Yes. 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 That's a very good question, Sammy. My, my sister said that she didn't want to come here because she she heard that the monkeys are really bad here and she didn't want to deal with that. Huh. So we just had another person approach us. She whipped out a slingshot <laughs> and she asked if we wanted a tour guide or not. We once again politely declined, but now we're <laughs> we're second guessing that. Why would they need a slingshot? Wow, got an awesome view up here too. Wow. Huh? There's your cliff view, babe. You're scared of monkeys? Well, we haven't seen any monkeys, so maybe there won't be any. Okay, let's make some space, but. Yeah, 
You don't bother him, he doesn't bother you. So our first monkey, he was harmless. He didn't do anything to us. Our first and only monkey so far. Oh, there's one. Oh, he took something. I don't know. Oh yeah, he took her phone. All right. Watch out, right there, right there. Watch out. Oh, okay. <laughs> stay back, stay back. It's okay. Hey, buddy, we will get you another hat, don't worry. Sir, 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 can I have something for exchange? They took Sawyer's hat. He's bearing teeth. Yeah, yeah, don't mess with him. He's uh he's very aggressive. Oh wow. Oh look at the babies. What's he gonna do with the hat though? Let go! He's eating it. Okay, okay. Back up, back up. Sawyer. It's okay, buddy. He can have that hat, okay? Oh, look. She needs we'll get you another one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he took her phone. All right, careful. I just... Yeah. He likes to eat your hat, buddy. I just can't... Okay. Because he wants to... I just can't... He can put some water in there. Yeah. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. All right, let's go down. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, buddy. I didn't know that they were going to okay, take your hat. You I didn't hat. see him in time to warn you. Okay, we'll get you an even it's better hat. Like <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> they took his hat. Oh. This little guy here, and every time we try to get near him, he like oh. shows his teeth. Okay. He's eating it. And, um, Another lady, they took counsel, her phone. I did, he just ignores me. Really? Yeah, because they're trying to get her phone back. Oh, okay. Wait a little bit. This, this man. Yeah, that's who I asked. Oh, but okay. he, he's already chewing on it. It's pretty okay. much garbage by now. Oh. Yeah, he's eating it. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have to get Sawyer another hat. But at least it wasn't the GoPro or a phone. I guess it could be worse. <laughs> Come here, Sammy. Do not look at come those. Come here, baby. Just come with me. Don't look at them. Okay, there's no I guess they saw an easy target with Sawyer because he was so low to the ground. The monkey just kind of snuck up behind him. I saw him walking towards Sawyer. By the time I turned around, it was too late to warn him. And the monkey just reached up and grabbed his hat right no, off his I'm head. I'm scared of these monkeys. I don't want to go near them at all. Sorry, buddy. I should have warned you earlier. I didn't see him in time. Hey, we're going to get you a new better hat, though, okay? Yeah. That can, Mommy, I told Daddy something. That can be if he wants to take a shower and dump water all over his body, then he can take it, put it in the water, fill it up, and then put and then dump it on him. You can just use it for a bucket? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want him okay. to use it as a bucket. Yeah. All right. yeah, well that one monkey, the guy was throwing bananas to him, but he wouldn't give the phone back. I think they've probably seen that they can get a lot more yeah. for a phone, so they'll just hold on to it because they're smart. All right, we're going to go check out the temple. I thought that the temple was up that way, but it's not. It's this way. So we're going to go check it out real quick. Try not to spend too much more time here. The, the less time we're here, the less opportunity for the monkeys to take stuff. So this is the temple, but you're not allowed to go in there anyway. You're only allowed in there for worship. I guess taking a guide would be worth it if you don't want any valuables stolen. The guide offered us 
to come for 10 bucks, which I guess a phone would be worth that. We didn't lose our phone, thankfully. We only lost a hat. This is the Uluwatu Temple. Four and five. Okay. We've made our way over to the Nusa Dua Beach. They have a Kekik fire dance here. We got to check out a fire dance when we were at the resort last week. And it only lasted for about 10 minutes. So we want to check out another one that's hopefully a little longer. I believe this one's about an hour long. So we're going to check it out. And this place is beautiful. In addition to the Kekek dance show, they have the blowhole, <laughs> or the water blow, I guess is what it's actually called. This is just a formation in the rocks here at the, at the edge of the sea where the water comes in and just blows up like a huge geyser. So we're gonna go look at it and check it out. I don't know, let's go find out. I think it's low tide, so let's see what we see. Oh, wow. Look, this is it right here. Low, look. Stay right here and watch it. Keep watching with me. Get ready for it. I love this. Oh. <laughs> that was epic! <laughs> I wanted to see over there. I think, Dad, I think you gotta look. get bigger waves to come in for oh, to come all the way up here. I saw it splash up all over. Sauce. Oh, look. Here, you see that water coming in? Here it goes, here it goes. Daddy, keep watching. That's cool, huh? Yeah, let's watch another one coming. Oh, Daddy, can you see the big one coming in? <laughs> that was super cool. There's big huge waves coming in, smashing against the rocks and blowing water up into the sky. We saw a few get really high. Uh, it goes around this whole inlet here, it looks like. But you can see how the rocks have been carved out. There's little pools that form. Anyway. Oh, man, I can't. I found it All right, so we've made it to the Kekek Fire Dance Circle. We're waiting. This is the place that they're gonna. We have one minute until the official start time, yes. so we're set up, settling in here. The I'm sun, so excited. the sun is setting over the ridge there. And I'm so we're right excited. here on the ocean. This is gonna be awesome. Welcome, Bali Lagan. It's a concept for Bali's ballroom dance performance and ketak, which are packaged in a single performance unit in a performance space, namely Tatsu Art Stage on Peninsula Island, the Nusa Dua, Bali. This show begins with the ballroom performance, then continues with the ketak dance, with stories taken from the Ramayana epic.
It's our final days here in Bali, but before we leave, there's one thing we have left to do. Today we're visiting the GWK Cultural Park, which is home to the largest statue in Indonesia. We're the best fighters ever. They could defeat any true monsters. Bali has been truly magical, and we're sharing another unforgettable experience with you right now. So we're here at the GWK Cultural Center today. We're gonna have a quick bite to eat and then we're gonna head out. We have a tour scheduled at 3 p.m. in the statue. We've got uh trying some local food, some remyon. I've already eaten most of it. We got these some chips, potatoes, some sushi, potatoes. I love this. We've got potatoes. a twisted potato. Got some grilled corn, some french fries. They're like chips. We're still working on the kids' acquired taste of different what? foods. We've got some chortos for dessert. Got some juices. So what really drew us to this place was when we first came here from Ubud, on the ride down, we could see this huge object on the horizon. And we weren't sure what it was, so we asked the driver and he told us about this place because you can see the statue pretty much from, from everywhere in the vicinity. It's humongous, so we're gonna go check it out. Um, and this, this is just a cultural center where you learn more about the Balinese culture and the history here, and we're excited to go learn more and check it out. Right, guys? Uh-huh. I'm having a hard time eating this right now. All right, focus on your food. We're now making our way to the actual entrance of the cultural park. When you first get here, there's a shuttle. You ride the shuttle to the entrance and where you can get the information and buy your tickets. It is a little bit of a process to get the tickets. Uh, the tour that we booked was card only. They did not accept cash for whatever reason. Now there's a strip that you walk along. They've got little gift shops and little restaurants that you can eat at. Wow. You want to see again? How, how 
this one goes. Watch, keep watching as it goes to the top. I think it's motion centered. Oh, there it goes, yeah. Look, look how high that one can go. It's super high. Look, did you see? Yep. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. We just checked out one of the shows in the amphitheater. They have shows every hour on the hour. Our tour is at 3 at the big statue and we just happened to be walking by right at 2 so we popped in and checked it out for a few minutes. There's a parade at 4 so we wouldn't be able to check out the show then so we wanted to check it out now and it was pretty cool. Yeah. Seen a helicopter go by a couple of times. They actually offer helicopter tours here. I'm not sure if it's quite as expensive as when we were at the beach the other day, but either way, helicopter tours here are quite expensive and we didn't book it in our package. So it is a little bit of a walk to get to the statue. They have buggies that you can rent here. We opted not to do that at the recommendation of the person who was helping us get our tickets. So we've got about a one and a half kilometer walk. Uh, we left ourselves plenty of time to get there though, so it shouldn't be a problem. You guys ready to walk a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Come, I want to show you something, guys. Show us, bud. Come. You have to come quickly. Come. We don't, I don't know what it is, but somehow it's moving. There's one of them. Oh, what is that? Like a little train? Mm. Oh, they're setting stuff up for a show. This might be for the parade at four. We made our way through the rock formations where we can see the statue in the distance, but it's still pretty far off. We opted not for the buggy ride, which is just a shuttle to get to the uh, statue. Uh, <laughs> We may have made a mistake. We'll see. The, the, the view is nice, but 
it's hot and there's not much shade and it's a long walk so we gotta get there come on all right this didn't last long had to pick up wow whoa look at that wow isn't it so big wow all right we're gonna make it now i'm excited we're here it wasn't quite a mile it wasn't maybe a half a mile so not too bad wow uh, looks, this doesn't even seem real it's so big it's I don't even know how to describe it it's in many cultures kids are precious but in some cultures little white kids with blonde hair and blue eyes are even more precious and the kids are experiencing that right now they were sort of mobbed by a bunch of women but it's cool all right upon entering there's a large red carpet rolled out for you this is this is pretty awesome plastic on the bottom of her shoes so she doesn't make anything dirty. Ready? So the kids are okay. They don't have to sell their shoes, but uh, we have these little plastic wraps on our shoes. Puts off a lot of heat on the foot. Thought it was gonna burn me for a moment, but it's all right now. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Look, we're gonna be with the group. Me too, from Indonesia. There's a mommy, there's a dad. No. Shopping around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yang mencari air suci yang di 
bisa membuat hidup kekal abadi. Pergilah dan dalam mencari tirta mata, namun ia dihadapi rajin rajin kayangan. Terjadilah operasi sebelum Garuda bisa bebas lagi. Pada Dewa Wisnu, Garuda berkata, ia tidak berpaksa. Kemudian mereka menyusun strategi agar kadu dari para naga dapat terakhir. Garuda menemui para naga di sebuah daerah. Ia meminta mereka membersihkan diri sebelum mendapatkan air suci. Ketika para naga mandi, Garuda diam-diam terbang pergi. Diambilnya tirta amperta dan sontak para naga murka. Garuda berkata, di rumput dekat danau ada setelah setirta amperta. Jika kalian ingin hidup abadi, maka jika kalian dasar air itu, ujarnya pada mereka. Mereka saat tirta amperta jatuh ke tanah, mereka menjika di rumput rumput. Berikut dari saat tirta amperta, lidah para naga terbelah di dalam rumput dan raja. Setelah membebaskan ibunya, Garuda memohon izin untuk mengabdi kepada Dewa sebagai rasa terima kasih atas tirta amanta. Meski berat hati, Binata pun merelakannya. Sejak saat itu, Garuda menjadi mitra dan tunggal Dewa Wisnu. We just watched a short movie about the story of Garuda and the statue of what it represents. So now we're learning about the history of how this place was constructed. It wasn't finished until 2018, so just a few years ago, but it originally began construction back in 1989. This is the Statue of Liberty in the U.S. This is the GWK statue. And holy moly, I can't imagine how big these are. 208 meters. And this one in India, Statue of Unity, 240 meters. So this was the ninth floor of the statue. The lighting here is pretty bad, so I apologize. Now we're heading up to the 23rd floor. This place is really cool. made it up to the 23rd floor. This is the head of the statue and there's a view from up here. Ah, you gotta see it. Check it out.
you want to show me something about it? Very cool. So up here they've got all kinds of cool things set up so you can see how like things were constructed. They've got some glass floor. Whoa. And it's a long That's awesome. Wow, look how far down it goes, bud. Statue. This is the fiberglass portion. Huge. Massive. Look how big this thing is. Don't touch it. Kids could spend all day here if we let them, but it's an interactive wall. You touch it, sparkles, and then there's all kinds of cool stuff that is created. Tour is over. That was pretty amazing. I think there's a parade coming up. We're gonna go try to catch that. That was pretty epic, as the kids like to say. Seeing how big this statue is compared to the model size or the comparisons from the inside of the statue in India, I can't imagine how big that place is. Twice as big as that. We're gonna have to go check that out sometime. We'll be in India in uh, three or four months, something like that. It's on our list. So, if we're in that area, I would like to go see that statue. Just get red light. Yellow light. Yellow light means Show me if you can do it. Wow, bud. Good job, buddy. Pack up whole stairs. Good job. But big ones. Very big ones. If we, if we were just so strong, we could. They feel like real eggs? No, that one. I can see that it was wiggling. So this is the bird that we learned about, Garuda. And these are its eggs. <laughs> oh, the parade's about to start. back there so we sat down on the stairs and they came came right at us they told us to follow them though so that's what we're gonna do I'm not sure where we're going we're just following the parade oh it breeze was good huh buddy yeah Oh, there's another giant statue here. Thank you. 
So that was pretty neat, worth waiting around for. Didn't last very long, but it was neat to see. Just one more cultural piece here at GWK Park. Our time here in Bali is drawing to an end. It's been an amazing two months. Yeah. 